Right, hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing well, having fun wherever you are. The other day I came over here for a walk and we came across a lot of that prickly puha that you guys would have seen in a previous video that I did. Uh, where is it? It's a bit, oh, a bit further up here. So today I am going to be picking that puha. Hardly ever find that sort of puha around here, but managed to find a good cup of it, or good patch of that puha. So we uh, come in here today to take that before it goes to flower. And there you have it my bros, there you have it. Hello Fantail, what are you up to? Yeah, there's a few pieces, little pieces here, but this is what I was the other day when I was uh, looking at these bits here, see? So we'll grab those pieces. Hey brother, what do you reckon, eh? Hey? Yeah, bro. See? Pieces there, some there. It's a beautiful looking piece there. Look at that one. That's a model. A model prickly puha pick. Look there. A couple there, one there. Beautiful pieces of puha. Look, the hollow bits inside, the hollow ones, beautiful. It's going to be so sweet. So it's almost starting to flower, as you can see in there. A little flower coming up, a little flower head coming up in there. Pretty cool man, come across this spot. piece of that guys you guys don't pick this stuff though it's the prickles unless you eat it some fellas might eat it but I don't so walk up here a bit Another big piece here too I found. I noticed the other day and that is right there. Look. Oh, two pieces there. One there, one up there, look. Look at that. This stuff's going to be sweet too. Right, hey guys, 
here we are now at our oyster spot it's time to go and pick some oysters or teal in Māori what's that on my camera? try and get in the mud here, it's still uh, tide's still going out, not as slow as I want it to be so you can get some of that some of the, the mud to dry off a little bit so I don't sink in it but we'll keep our uh, gathering to the just the outline the areas here so there's a few footprints around here look at the footprints you can see up over here look footprints here see around here looks like someone's been out maybe do a bit of floundering or something at night you get a few flounder around here as well and these little mangroves here Let's have a look. Oh, there's a couple there already. Oh shit, stuck heads. There's one there. There you are, my first one there. Yep. Another good one. Not too bad. There's a few around here, see too as well. Stuck in the sand. Another good one there. The old bucket. Looking alright, eh guys? Think about that. See, look at these footprints. A couple of sets of footprints there. Probably more than that. Little kids' footprints as well. See, kids' footprints there. And the adults there, a couple of adults. So someone's uh, must have been here yesterday afternoon. Get himself a kai. Probably already been to these mangroves over here. See, and that's why I don't give these spots out to other people. Because there'll be nothing left. Footprints everywhere. There we go. It's got a big bucket. But man, there's nothing there for all feed. Some good sized ones in here, for around here. That's all you need. Some for me and some for a mate of mine. Here we go. Our bag of prickly puha down the harbour here. Grabbed a nice little uh, bucket of oysters, teal. So we're down the harbour now. We're going to wash them up. And we're going to have a lovely wallaby back steak, something that all like that. Back steak in the frying pan, bit of olive oil, cook it up, it's going to be our lunch. So we'll see you guys down the harbour. Right, here we are at the harbour. It's only a quick drive around here. A bit quiet on the old road, which is good. So this is one of my old... Uh, homemade trap I made haven't really used it yet and I don't think I will either because I found a couple to use probably better than this one here but it's very good for washing oysters out Good day. <sighs> right, guys, we have an update. I have cleaned up the oysters, teal, but I'm not going to have that wallaby <sighs> back steak here. It's like so windy out there. I was going to do it in the back of the car, but I don't think I will now. Uh, I think it might be raining soon. Man, that wind's cold. It feels like a southwesterly. I think it's coming from 
running down where all the snow is down south. That cold wind. Okay, two minutes later, here's the rain. So we've got our oysters on time. Yep, here it comes. Well, I've got the oysters anyway, guys, so that's the main thing. And I've got the poo her. Don't mind if it rains. I was going to go and try and cook it on these barbecues over here. I've got these little, these little gas barbecues here. I was going to try and cook them on there. Cook up that wallaby back steak. Look at that, see? Yeah, boy. Oh, man. I was going to do my wallaby on these barbecues here, but they don't bloody go. Both of them don't go. We'll back her up. So we get a bit of a view while we're cooking. What do you guys think? Good idea? Probably a little dodgy ears, but whatever. I don't care. We're here to have a feed man. We're not here to muck around and pinch stuff, are we? We're here to be good, good citizens. Wallaby back steak here, been in the freezer from our expedition, so we're going to be cooking that up in the old gas stove. As I said, here's the first of me doing this in the car. Man, it's so windy out there, far out. So, a bit of extra virgin olive oil. Put that on there. We'll heat that up. That lovely little piece of meat. That. A wallaby. Simple as salt and pepper. That's it. Yeah. Salt and a bit of pepper. Just like that. Right, we'll turn our steak over, our back steak. Oh, yeah. Oh, buddy. Oil on my lens. Oh, damn it. Better. Nice. So what happens when you do those close-up shots of your food? Right, so while our wallaby is resting there, let's have a couple of oysters to try them out, make sure they're not off. Nothing worse than having off oysters, apparently. I never have had them before, but apparently they make you quite sick. So we're going to try them out. Right. Oh, look at that, guys. Dripping out the old goodness. There. Oh, Ooh, look. It's not too bad, is it? Looks all right. Look at that. Nice fat one there. Not too 
bed. That one looks alright. Right, there's our entree. Oh yeah. Mm. Here it is. Wallaby back steak and some oysters. All that's missing on here is a little bit of lemon juice. Not big ones, but. Mm. Oh, wow. Well. Very gamey at all. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it made you guys hungry. Those oysters were very delicious. And that um, wallaby was out of this world. Thanks for watching, guys. Kakete and all. Catch you later. Bye. to video this uh, ball up one but I, I've taken some shots of it and I thought I'm gonna finish off this video now with the boil up the prickly puha boil up with some home cool sausages in there potatoes kumara carrot no dough boys I don't eat dough boys I mean I'd eat them if somebody else made them but I just uh, Mmm, can't be bothered making them. So as you can see there, that the meat has come off the bone. That's how I like my meat bones. All well, the meat's tender as. Just a few little bones left and the rest of it's all meat. As you can see in here, there's my tasty puha. Your prickly puha. Mmm, henu, yeah boy. Look at that. Bit of greens, healthy greens and a bit of healthy henu. Mmm. Piece of bread. 
And notice not cheese, that's butter. You gotta have butter on bread. If you're gonna have one of these a tortiti, hanawiti. Oh look at that. The best bits are in their bones, so you suck all that out. Anyway guys, don't forget to check us out on Instagram and we're also on Facebook. Check us out. Hope you guys get in out there, get in your own kai, get your own puha, and I'll see you all on the next video. It'll probably be another eating one, hopefully. Mm. See you guys later. Still here. So the cars are gone. I'm sorry. Bye.